They think it's all over. The oh, Sun. Cute. Uh, very good. Summing it up very nicely. Fernando Llorente at centre stage, of course, his uh, hotly disputed winner. Did it come off the arm? Well, Pep Guardiola post game saying, I support VAR. But maybe from one angle, Fernando Llorente's goal is handball. Maybe from the referee's angle, it is not. Former Spanish referee Iteralde Gonzalez, who's uh, very busy on Spanish TV as a pundit, had this to say. It hits his hand first, then his hip, and the UEFA instructions are clear. You can't score if it hits your hand, even if it's involuntary. It doesn't matter if the elbow is tight to the body. If it happens to a defender, it's not a penalty. But if it's an attacker, it has to be disallowed. Rossetti has told the UEFA referees they didn't play the referee at Sakir, the view from behind, where you can see it hits the elbow. The error from the VAR is not showing the two key images. Manchester City are out because the VAR wasn't used properly. Remember, that's former Spanish referee Iteralde Gonzalez. Gab Marcardi with a Q&A, one of those Q&A uh, sessions where he answers his own questions. Oh, today. great. Ah, there you go. <laughs> On the subject of why the referees didn't get the angle, uh, Sakir realized as soon as he saw the replays that the ball struck Laurenti's arm. The part of the equation thus was never in question and additional angles weren't needed. Ah! What did matter was whether Fernando Llorente's arm was in a natural position, and it was. He couldn't have tucked it in any closer to his body. And what the material impact was on what happened next, and that too was minimal. Ah! There's a lot to unpack there, uh, and a lot to digest. Uh, Peter, let's uh, let's go to you first. Uh, noted professor of anatomy, I believe you are, <laughs> Peter well... Walton. Um, I know you weren't initially sure where that ball had gone in. I think you think you even said the knee initially, but Wrong. Uh, but now, yes. 24 hours later, what's your what's your view of the the whole incident? Right, so firstly, you know, what we've got to discover is, was it a handball? And uh, it doesn't matter what angle you see it at, um, there is that one angle that shows you the ball has hit his arm before it hits his hip to go into the goal. So the referee has the decision to make, if he'd seen that angle. And I don't think uh, Kahir, the, uh, the referee, Kaka, the referee, saw that angle, so that's one element to discuss. The other element is, well, was it a handball? I don't think it was a handball. I don't think it met the current criteria. I don't think it was a deliberate act. I don't think that um, uh, the arm moved towards the ball. He certainly wasn't making himself bigger because his arm was tucked in. So if, if it had hit his arm, I still don't think that would have been a handball and I think the goal should have stood. Now, let me just follow up very quickly. The fact that um, uh, the Spanish referee is saying that there should not be a goal scored with your, with your arm, he's quite correct. However, the goal wasn't scored with his arm. The goal was scored with his hip. So, therefore, that goal was a good goal. Oh, Peter. <laughs> I love you. I do. <laughs> and I appreciate the hard work that you put in. However, let's start with the fact that... Let's make it a yes or no question. Did the ball touch the arm, yes or no? Or no? Yes, it did. OK. And did that touch on the ball have a material effect on the outcome of the play? Yes or no? Yes, it did. And so at this point is when I would say, if I were a lawyer and we were in a court of law, I rest my case. Because if indeed it had a material effect on the outcome of the play, and it's a handball, and it ends up in a goal, how is this not overturned by VAR? OK, well, let me just come back on that, because you're quite right in saying that has a material effect. That material effect is in law from the 1st of June, not at the moment. The lawmakers have made that specific. So that phrase you've used there has a material effect, comes into effect next month, not, on, not the game last night. So the game last night was being played as the law is written and interpreted at the moment. And at the moment, that is not a handball. So then again, I go back to a, an initial question. So if the ball had gone into the goal of his arm, you are saying that that should have stood? No. Had the ball gone directly into the goal, off his arm, that would not have stood because the interpretation is that you cannot score a goal directly with your arm or your hand. And, it, and, and that's, that's a, a point, point in case. It wasn't scored directly with his arm or hand. All right. Now, the, now law the, law, the law changes from the 1st of June to take into account what actually happened yesterday with Lorente. OK, fantastic. But the thing that I don't think anybody can argue is the fact that Spurs, Llorente, whoever, in this case is involved in the play, gains an advantage from using his arm, whether he intends to or not. 
The fact that it hits his arm and it changes the direction of the flight of the ball, it changes the play. And so, therefore, that material effect that we're talking about leads directly to a goal. Whether that's June 1st or now, the way I look at it is the arm played a part into the goal. How is that not a handball? OK. So, again, if you just take it from... Cut, cut, cut it up in slices, the first thing is to detect whether or not it's a handball. And we've had this argument many times about you're saying, well, it's not deliberate, it's just hit him, he didn't mean to do it. That's exactly what Laurenti did yesterday. The ball came over from the defender, from company, he didn't see it, he didn't have time to move his arm out the way, his arm was tucked into his body, it was not a deliberate fact to handball. So, therefore, it couldn't have been a handball. For more, sign up now for ESPN+.